you will never be able to convince the Barak family that God doesn't perform miracles. The night of November 5th, 2006 started out on a high note. Jen and her family spent the evening at church close to the higher power that would help get them through what was about to happen next. When I got out of the car, I saw um, an engine actually sitting in the middle of a, the road. Just one mile from their home, a drunk driver hit the family head on going 80 miles per hour. First responder, Christy Van. No one, in my opinion, should have ever lived through that accident. Jen and her parents, Linda and Andy, were critically injured. Her brother, Josh, was also hurt. All four were taken to separate hospitals. But Jen, whose head took the impact of the crash, was barely clinging to life. Suffering from a traumatic brain injury and multiple fractures, Jen was in a coma for five weeks, followed by several months of therapy away from her Lynchburg home at Cluley Children's Rehabilitation Center. And her parents couldn't always be by her side they were battling their injuries from wheelchairs. Understanding the extent of Jen's injuries, it appeared as if this once vibrant athletic girl who freely shared her faith in her savior would be forever changed. My name is Jen Barrick. I am a freshman at Liberty Christian Academy. About a month ago at a youth retreat, God spoke to my heart and I completely surrendered my life to him. I know God has amazing plans for my life and I want to use all my talents and abilities to serve Him. In everything I do, I want to give God all the glory. My prayer is that God would use me to make a difference for eternity. Thank you. And it was true. Jen was changed as God made Himself even more real to her. She prayed for hours, but she didn't ask for one thing. And it was the power of the Holy Spirit praying through her, and all she did was praise Him. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life. I just want to praise you for all the people I've been able to influence. The power of the Holy Spirit was so alive in Jen, it was like nothing I had ever seen before. She didn't know her middle name. She didn't know she had a brother. She didn't know two plus two was four. She didn't know she was even hurt. She didn't even know she was in a hospital, but she knew every word to every praise song. She knew every verse she had ever hidden in her heart. It was unbelievable. I just have to constantly be reminding myself that his plan is perfect and that he can and that I believe he will heal me in the right timing. I mean, it might not be for another year or it might even be longer or it could happen today. That's right. I just, um, my faith is in the Lord. Yes. Jen, one of your favorite songs is Lord, You Are Holy. Yes. What do you think about when you sing that song? That was a song I um, sang in the choir concert the night of the wreck. Mm -hmm. Well, I love the verse because it's saying all the things God is. He, it says He is wonderful, glorious, holy and righteous, victorious conqueror, triumphant and mighty, healer, deliverer, shield and defense, strong tower, and my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, he's some of everything. Well, we know God's plan is perfect, and He never makes any mistakes. Jen, I want to ask you a question. Has it ever gone through your mind to doubt God? Not one bit. I wouldn't doubt my Creator, my Lord, and my Savior. He's the one healing me daily.